On Wednesday, October 2nd, I was diagnosed with testicular cancer. And this disease came out of nowhere, and I can remember just thinking, oh my god, I'm gonna die. We quickly got on it. I tried to stay positive almost all the time. Fortunately for me, I was treated and able to survive and go on and, and race a bike again and win a few bike races. Didn't know there'd be seven, either. <laughs> my ass is sore. Your I tell ass you, is sore. sore. <laughs> I think immediately I, I wanted to do something for for the cause. I felt like it was my duty to tell my story and to encourage people to be involved. We started the foundation, we started doing some rides, and we were blessed with, with a little piece of yellow silicone that came along. 61 million of those later, we take a small percentage of those people, and that's what makes a movement. We're ready to get to work. The thing I would encourage people to keep in mind is that ultimately we have to address the entire issue with the disease. Prevention. Screening and early detection. Access to care. We have a team of millions of people around this country that are reminding our leaders. Cancer is a huge issue. It must become a national priority, so they're going to have to answer the question, what's your cancer plan? Not just in this country, but for people all over the world. We really are facing a global health epidemic here. And, and so for me now, I've decided to race my bicycle again. It's time to take this message around the world because the disease affects everybody. Everyone is affected by cancer. 100% of us. Everyone. Everyone. Around the world. 20,000 people will die from cancer today. 20,000 people. More than AIDS, tuberculosis, and malaria combined. It's not acceptable. I had breast cancer. Testicular cancer. Cervical cancer. This is a tough fight, tough battle. A long one. A long one. A long one. It starts on a very local level. It starts in homes and in schools. In offices and in communities. On streets in my neighborhood. In my neighborhood. It goes from there. To your elected officials, to your leaders. to Local, state, and federal governments around the world. And then starts to trickle out and across to labs and to hospitals and universities that really are ultimately going to alleviate this disease uh, in our lifetime. We can be successful. We can end this disease. We can beat it. We can kick cancer's sorry ass. All it takes is one person, actually. It starts with me. It starts with me. It starts with me. It starts with you. It starts with us. We need your help. Now more than ever, we have the responsibility to fight cancer in good economic times and bad. This holiday season, please consider a gift to the Lance Armstrong Foundation or use our holiday discount code to buy live strong gear and if you can't give please share this video with your friends and family make a difference today visit livestrong.org slash give thank you so much thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you, thank you.